So today I want to show you a fun setup inspired by the hardware module from Noise Engineering Gamut Repetitor that you can use to easily create and modify pitch and gate sequences. Also the ideas from this video I added to the PDF I keep on updating with tips and tricks. If you are interested it's available on my Patreon together with the project file from this video and from many other videos. So we will be using the node grid for this. Already we can remove the node in device because we will generate everything inside the patch. And again, if we have a look at the hardware module, we can see we can get a sequence with up to 32 steps and it will generate the node values for us randomly. So in Bitwig, we will start with the steps device Right, we will set this to 32 steps. Again, this is the maximum and maybe randomize this a few times. Now to scan through it, to sequence it, we will use the phase counter and the triggers device and we need a way to reset everything. So under IO, we have here the transport playing. This will output a trigger when we are starting and stopping the patch or the project so it will reset the phase counter now the triggers will trigger the counter this will be our note value right so four will be quarter notes eight eighth notes and 16 16 no 16th notes right i will name this note value and the counter will count the number of triggers and will scan through the steps respectively Right, if we use an external phase signal, there is no need anymore for the pre-chord. Right, for now we can leave this with eight steps, but let's just name this uh, length. Now again, on the hardware module, we can set the overall range with the spread control and also the global direction, if they will be more transposed up or transposed down and we can also quantize everything to musical scales so again in bitwig we will use the pitch scalar device after the steps module we will set both of them to c3 because i would like to have external control with the value module right this will be our spread control send this to a modulator out so we can modulate things again under io all the way to the right we have here modulator out and now set this to control the spread once up an octave and once down an octave i can just do this more or less randomly and then if i go out of the modulation and i click the modulator here i can enter specific values so if i hold control i can just enter once 12 and once negative 12 so it will be plus 12 semitones which is an octave and down uh, 12 semitones so we have all in all a range of two octaves and we also need a way to offset the notes up and down so for this we will use under level we have here the attenuate this will go before the pitch scalar we will set this to be bipolar Right, so at the center, there is no transposition. To the right, it will mostly go up. To the left, it will mostly go down. Also this we can name down up, just so we know what is what. And now for the quantizing part, we will do something a bit different. Instead of using the pitch quantize module, right, this one here where we have to enter the notes manually, we will use the key filter device after the note grid. So here we have pre-effects and post-effects. I can enter a post-effects, the key filter. This device will let us quickly change the root note and the scale and also to transpose things and we can even modulate it. So now let's send the output from the pitch scaler to the note output. For now, to trigger this voice, I will use the same triggers here from the note value. And now when I start this, listen to the pitch, and I hope that you will notice that something is not quite working. Let me just open the spread a bit. Right, you can hear that this is definitely not quantized and it's all over the place. Now, the solution I found is that we need to modulate the pitch output instead of going directly to it right so again we will use another modulator out that will come out from the pitch scaler and this we will use to modulate the pitch all the way up 
And now the pitch will actually be quantized. So if I play this now, we have quantized pitch. Let's go with the C minor actually, of course. <laughs> and now we can change the length of the sequence. So we have eight steps, let's have 10. Or let's have 16, right? This is the pool of uh, pitch information that we can select from within it. Right, and now let's add also the random part. So again, on the hardware module, it's possible to switch to a mode that will basically play infinite random notes. And then when switch again to a looping sequence, the notes will change. So again, in Bitwig, under random, we will use the dice module. This module will generate random values when triggered. So we will add this to the sequence before the down up offset. If we go to math, we have here add. This will basically just add the sequence and in this case the dice. And to trigger the dice module for now, we will just use the triggers module here, the note value. But now if I play this, we will always get random notes because the dice module is always triggered and always being added. So basically we just get randomness. Right, so for this we can gate the triggers for example. If we go to logic, we have here the button module and this I can combine with the help of end logic with the trigger. So let's do this slowly. We will use the end logic one input will come from the triggers and one input will come from the button and only when the triggers and the button are active, only then the triggers will actually pass through to the dice module. So now I have control when the dice module is getting the triggers, right? If I play this, now it's not getting any triggers and we get a repetitive, maybe eight step sequence. If I click the button, if I activate the button, now the triggers go through, we get a random sequence. And now when I will deactivate the button, we will get a new looping eight step sequence because again, the dice will be added. The value is being saved. Right, so like this we can generate new sequences or we can add also randomness. Now the gamut repetitor will also generate unique trigger sequences. And for this, all we need to do is change the mode on the key filter, the foreign notes. If it's on constraint, it will just quantize things. But if we change this to filter, it will actually filter out the notes that don't match the scale. So again, if I have this eight step sequence, you know, let's go back to 16. Right, we have a trigger now for each note, but if I change this to filter, now we get an interesting rhythm. And again, if I randomize things, right, we get a different rhythm. So like this, we can also generate interesting rhythms. Now, of course, the hardware module has also multiple opalach, multiple channels. It has four channels. And also the triggers will basically follow the incoming triggers. So you can use trigger sequencers to drive the module instead of phase. Right, so also in Bitwig, we can use multiple instances. I have here a polyphonic voice with a polymer with the same setup also with the quantization, right? And you can see that I'm using, I have here four instances of this little setup, one, two, three, four, with four different note out modules. So I have polyphony of four different notes. And again, instead of using the triggers module to scan through the sequences, I'm using trigger sequences that give me again a different rhythm. Right, as you can see, so this is also something you can experiment with. Let me solo this for a second. Right, this is how it will sound like. Also on the note outputs, I can set also the bass note. So this is C4, this is C3, it's an octave down, right? For polyphony, we can do all sorts of different things. 
Right, let me bring back the first voice. I have here also just the basic setup that um, I can save also as a preset. Right, this is the setup, but here I have the control, sort of macro controls. Right, I can change from constraint to filter. I have here the note values. I have here the length, adding randomness, spread, and down and up. And this I can just load to any patch and then use it in my patches. Right, so it's quite a simple setup. It can be fun for generating sequences on the fly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, consider joining us on Patreon and Discord. Cheers!